back to Chef Gaming, the only show on the internet where we objectively know the answer to the question, what is the greatest What's wrestling that? theme song of all time? Sacred Go. Uh, uh Triple H. H. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though. Like, in a combination of just, like, good music and also good for the wrestler, it's absolutely that. Nah, for sure. Worst one's gotta be fucking, like, Rob Conway, right? I don't know what is his. Uh, his was the, just look at me. Ain't right. And I sad to see. <laughs> like it was, it was someone trying to. It was, it was fucking bad. Sounds like it. Open to some advice, especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a match against Kane. Not Castle. Glad you're willing to listen. We should start a tag team with Kane called Kaneden. It's gonna be fucking hilarious. Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. I feel like I'm yeah. more interested in whatever help like uh, Lita can provide. Than, Hell yeah! Um, get help from Kane's old flame, or fight fire with real fire. Me. I think we're gonna yeah. ask Lita. Yeah. Probably doesn't help that uh, I don't I like Dominic that, but at all. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned that. <laughs> It's nothing personal. I just hate everything about him, the way he looks, the way he acts, the way he sounds. Takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. I think we'll be okay, Dominic. Yeah, I mean, we do have Lita. I think we're gonna, gonna be gonna just do whatever fine. Lita told us they were gonna do. I don't recall uh, even ever talking to Lita, so I don't. She must. She DM'd us saying that uh, she'll offer us help for dealing with Kane. Ah. Well, there you go. Yeah, whatever the help we she didn't say. She'll probably hook us up with, like, fucking Edge or something. No, Edge isn't in the game. Yeah, yeah, so yeah Edge, Edge is in the AW now, so... That probably fucking traitor. Probably won't get that. She'll probably hook us up with something, like, really useful against Kane, like a gun. <laughs> she literally just sends us her fucking guy. <laughs> to hit the, she sends us a hit, man. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane, but why are we going to Mexico? Why are we in Mexico? Well, I mean, listen, I is... got my start in Mexico. Oh, well, there you go. I didn't know that. Out of the way places, dark, dangerous places. Okay. Are we actually gonna hire someone to fucking kill Kane for us? <laughs> so long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of Lacandon. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Uh huh. Are you messing with me? <laughs> Not at all. I made some calls that I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. He has a policy where you beat him in a wrestling match, your first assassination is free. That sounds like a pretty big He's pretty game. old now too, so <laughs> Great even older than Kane. Greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid. <laughs> right, kid. I'm 30. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm however old Lita is, so still a kid to me. <laughs> Man, if one of you, if if you if you knew Crandon was in danger, and mm -hmm. uh, and you could help Crandon, but only if you took him on an adventure through Mexico to meet one of your old rivals, mm -hmm. uh, would you take Crandon to Mexico <laughs> as you battle with one of your old rivals? <laughs> I. It depends on how much danger we're talking. If the danger is he's gonna lose his title belt. Probably not. <laughs> if the danger is that he's gonna die, well then yeah. Yeah, sure, then you would take him, <laughs> but... I don't know. How do we even get the time off for this? Like, hey, uh, hey uh, Miz, I can't make it to the next show. He's like, what the... Well, why? Why can't you make it to the next show? I'm going to Mexico. Why are you gonna be in Mexico? Uh, I'm going with Lita. That raises more questions. <laughs> well, no, you see, she got her start in Mexico. Okay. This guy is going to get us ready for Kane. Is it, It's just because they both wear red masks. Oh, yeah. That's literally the only thing that that guy has in common with Kane. I mean, Never know. Maybe he uses Kane's moveset. Maybe. And maybe when he was younger, he looked just like Kane. <laughs> Messi, maybe when the last time Lita saw him, he was a fucking, like, six foot nine, like, a wall of meat. And he still is, just not in the way she remembered him being. Yeah. I gotta say, he draws a pretty impressive crowd. He does. Of course, he is about to wrestle the WWE, WWE. Undisputed Universal Champion. 
Oh, yeah. No, there's no way we weren't advertised for this fucking <laughs> event. And we brought the title out. <laughs> and Le fucking WWE Hall of Famer Lita yeah. is our manager for this match. No, the reason we're down here, Lita is not helping us. Lita is helping her bank account. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can get you the champion. Yeah, I, I still got connections. <laughs> no, just trust me. I know what I'm doing. And then she called in a favor with the Miz, like, hey, I need you to hire, I need you to hire Kane to go beat up Crandon, so I can offer Crandon help and get him down to Mexico. That's why we were able to get the time <laughs> off. This was all planned a week ago, right? God, the Miz is like, why would I do that for you? And he's like, I'll split the money with you. I am a WWE superstar. I'm rich already. And it's like, yeah, but they're paying me like three million. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he'll be there. All I have to do is not book him one day. Got it. Hell yeah. The crowd loves us for some reason. Hell yeah. I know WWE is like the worldwide wrestling. But like this guy's the hometown wrestling. Also, oh, he yeah. already has a finisher. And we're fucked up. Oh, yeah, we are. What happened to us? Jet lag, maybe? <laughs> we were riding on one of the planes that keeps breaking down. <laughs> I mean, we did get attacked by Kane a couple days ago. True, but that was days ago. This is the same amount of damage we had going into, like, round three of the tournament where we won our title. Right. Man, speaking of Kane, uh, do you remember your first ever... Kane storyline when you started watching wrestling? Uh, I believe it was when he was still t uh, teaming with Big Show and Alberto Del Rio ran over Big Show's foot with his car. <laughs> and so he was feuding with him over that. God. Was, I think, the first storyline I ever <laughs> saw Kane do when I got into wrestling. Well, that that sounds like an absolute classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what everyone talks about. I remember when Kane was fighting for fucking Big Show after Alberto Del Rio ran, ran his over his over with his car. Yeah. God. That one, that is topping all the fucking Kane best feuds list. Uh, my introduction to Kane was Embrace the Hate. Ah, uh, yeah. When he was feuded with John Cena and by extension Zack, Zack Ryder. Ryder. Yeah. And he fucking pushed Zack Ryder off of something. And and broke his spine or whatever. And so he was in a wheelchair and using a neck brace. And Cena stole his girlfriend. Which there was fucking nothing to that. Oh yeah. Because it's like... How is John Cena... How, how is there no feud where Zack Ryder kicks the shit out of John Cena afterwards? When literally... Because like, I get it, yeah. He saved Eve... But, like, and then Cena goes on to call her a fucking hoe. <laughs> and it's like, you were there too, bro. <laughs> you did the exact same shit. Yeah. And, like, don't get me wrong. I think it's worse by a pretty considerable margin when you're cheating as the person who has a significant other versus the other guy. Right. But, like, still, that's your fucking... <laughs> Best bro, yeah, that's Zach, Zach Ryder. Ryder. You're saving his girlfriend, and you're like, "Shit, I need to make out with this lady." <laughs> it's like, "Come on now, John. You're better than this." He's really not, though. He really it's not. It, it's really funny looking back at like the top faces of WWE over time, because like Hogan. I mean, he didn't do literally that, to my knowledge. But he did the same kind of shit all the time. He did bad guy stuff constantly. People just cheered for him. And, like, Cena was the same way. <laughs> oh, great. Of course, we're going to have a fucking casket match. Hell yeah. The red flame was everything you said, Lita. My whole no, it wasn't. He barely got any offense in on us. La Yalmaroja is a legend. A monster. And as rough as you're feeling right now... He ain't shit compared to Kane. That guy's tall. With Kane, especially now that it's a casket match. That's true. Let's not uh, get ourselves Shawn Michael. Yeah. 
Because uh, I like Crandon's spine and the condition it's currently in. <laughs> I can't imagine Crandon losing his smile. So, like, let's avoid that. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, maybe you use a little something extra. Uh -huh. And now she hands us the gun. <laughs> Check your bag when you get to SmackDown. When you use them. Oh, Jesus, she is giving us a gun. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to kill Kane. No, she said when you use them, meaning there's more than one. Do you have a steroid? Obviously, steroids? it's a Kimbo. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's both. Maybe it's a gun and steroids. Maybe. Impressive. All right. We're ready. We fought a really fat man in Mexico. And now we're ready. To fucking do whatever this is gonna be. Come on. Come on. Oh. I forgot Kane was gonna come out before us. Right. I was like, I'm ready. Man, the Miz is so desperate to get this title off of us. He keeps giving away special title matches away on free TV. He called in Kane. Oh, yeah. Kane had to stop being the mayor to fly up to wherever the SmackDown is taking place. Like, he was giving away fucking title matches to Kevin Owens on free TV. Now we're having a specialty match against a fucking Hall of Famer on just a random SmackDown. Right. Well, and it's especially bad. Because this, this is sort of... It kind of reminds me of the... Um, when CM Punk won the WWE Championship the second time and held it for so long. Right. Because uh, when John Laurinaitis was the the interim general manager of Raw... He <laughs> gets me every time! Uh, when he was the, the general manager of Raw and he was like, Yeah, I'm just booking title matches fucking all the time and he didn't right. do it for an extended period it was only for like a, a month long period or something right but he was booking punk in a title match every week but like they weren't legit title matches like no. he he was being booked in in matches that were over in a few minutes so that they could build towards the pay-per-view as you do when that's your fucking business model right it's like miz is literally just like no Casket match on Raw. Yeah, lose that fucking belt. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, like, it, if I heard Kane versus insert wrestler here in a casket match on SmackDown, I wouldn't be like, oh man, this is going to be a great match. Right. But I might be like, oh man, maybe I should actually watch it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, on that end, it kind of makes sense. But at the same time, it's like, if there was a pay-per-view with that match... It's like, oh man, a casket match for the first time in a thousand fucking years? That might actually be worth watching. Not that I'd probably ever buy another WWE pay-per-view. Right. I'm too far out of WWE to spend money when I won't even watch the free show. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious, because like, when, in 2025, when SmackDown and Raw goes to Netflix, I'm gonna start watching again. Well, I mean, I'm gonna try to start watching right. again. Right. And see how it is. I don't, I've never seen anything stream live on Netflix. So I don't even know how it's gonna like work. It, surely it'll be because like they they did live streaming on the WWE Network, right? And that worked okay, but not amazingly. But like Netflix should have way better infrastructure than what WWE had. I mean that's true. So it should be the same thing but better. Ideally, I don't know. <laughs> Especially since streaming technology has improved a lot, right? Because WWE Network, didn't it start, like, over 10 years ago? Yeah, something like that. Or, like, maybe right at 10 years ago. Something like that, I think it was yeah. right after WrestleMania 30, maybe? Or 29? Maybe. Yeah, or that sounds right. I don't know. I don't remember. Let's see. Uh, magical Google Box. Uh, when WWE Network launched. When did WWE Network launch? April 1st, 2012. So it was right after WrestleMania 28. Yeah. So, like, if 12 years ago, they could make it work mostly when they didn't really even know what they were doing. Right. Like, Netflix, of all people, should be able to handle it in 2024. Right. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? 
That's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's yeah, I, I definitely would not want to be booked to lose a casket match. Right, just, yeah. Knowing that you're just going to be in a casket for however long the fucking guy wants to celebrate and then roll you backstage. Right. Of course, I guess it depends on how much time off they offer you after it's like, boss, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do the casket match. But, but bro, we're writing you off TV for like 10 months. You got to go out somewhere. Yeah, you won't even be on the house show circuit for that time. You're just going to be sitting at home getting paid. And it's like 10 months, you say. <laughs> It's like, uh, yeah, uh, how many caskets uh, did you need me to be in? Just the one. Yeah, that's reasonable. I just noticed we have a pair of brass knuckles in our fucking, in our fucking special thing now. Ah, uh, well, yeah. That's, that's so what, she did just give yeah. us some illegal weapons to yeah. use on Kane. Not illegal. Brass knuckles are super illegal, dude. Nah, not illegal. I don't know, it depends on where SmackDown's taking place. <laughs> Not in Mexico where she got them, so... Boom, baby! I love big wind-up punches like that. Get up, bitch! Damn. Kane has really gotta be regretting... I used the wrong button. So now I just gotta beat him up till my fucking thing goes up again. Fucking got him. Hell yeah. I knew what you were saying. Uh, I forgot. What was I saying? Uh, something about brass knuckles, maybe? Uh, I don't remember. That's not enough information. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, viewers. I forget what uh, was being talked about. Something about brass knuckles. Yeah. Brass knuckles. No, they're fine, bro. It's totally okay. For one thing, if this SmackDown is in Texas, you can have brass knuckles in Texas. I guess that's fair. <laughs> you can have swords in Texas, too. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I smacked the microphone. I'm sure it sounded lovely. Oh, I'm, I can already fucking <laughs> taste how good it sounded. Damn. Why? Okay, well, first of all, why would you book Kane at all in 2024? Right. Like, he's super old, he's super retired, he's super... <sighs> I, I hate to say he wasn't good at wrestling even when he was young, because, like, he, he does have a gimmick that lasted for 20 fucking years right. or however long. So, like, in a way, he's really good at wrestling. But also, he had a lot of gimmicks that weren't. Right. And he didn't create Kane, he just did a good job being Kane. I don't use that. It is that button. That's what I thought it was. Are you going to hit him with the Nux? Yeah, well, that, that's what I have to do. Uh, oh, and, I see. So I was trying to remember what's the fucking... Because I hit the signature on accident. And I was like, what's the payback? Uh, oops. Yeah, that's right. Stop Open that running, up. coward! All right, go, yeah, but so go ahead and uh, let's open that. Too bad Kane didn't go ahead and open that for us. I know, us. what a bastard. <laughs> he he saw you coming and was like, oh, if I open that, I'm probably going to end up inside of there. All right, and uh, there you go. easy. Good night. It's over, Kane. No, no it's Don't fine, Kane. Fight it. This is where you like to be. You're you dead. Love... Remember when you were burned alive by the Undertaker or something? Yeah. He burned You're down the dead. funeral home. Get in there. Fuck you. Fine. If you must be stunned once more, I shall stun you. Don't you dare close that. Don't you? you no, slut. we are not closing that. <laughs> it makes sense why he would do that. You get back in here. You've taken, like, Basically or literally no damage. <laughs> so, like, I wouldn't want the casket lid open right this second either if I were Kane. Hell yeah, fucking wreck that guy. Now fucking get in here. Man, speaking of Kane, uh, remember when they just randomly put him into the CM Punk Dan O'Brien feud? Yeah. Good times. My favorite times when they just <laughs> randomly insert people into what would otherwise be pretty good feuds. <laughs> I mean, I can't say anything. I still thought the feud was really good, even the parts that Kane were. I mean, it in. was fine. 
this wasn't as good as it could have been if they were just allowed uh, to work. <laughs> yeah, if they were just like, man, you know what we, we should do now that we've added Kane? Not have done that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Dan, that's a good idea. How do we do that? Uh, we just stop putting him in the feud. How dare they cut off on me? Oh, come on. Congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. Hell yeah, we did. I don't see you winning hey, casket you matches mean, against Kane. This time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said that, cause, because of me. I was also gonna throw something back, but it was a not nearly as nice. <laughs> Man, Roman's very wide. He is a very Two. wide man. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. <gasps> You're holding something. Roman owns WWE now? Because yeah. That's, only that's why he's dressed up so nice. He bought the company. Makes sense. That explains why The Rock is back. <laughs> Fuck you, Corey. <laughs> Nobody likes you. You got a concussion, now you can't wrestle anymore. <laughs> and you deserved it. Your job is to hang out with Byron Saxon now, you asshole. <laughs> you deserve it. God. Just hold that over his head. It's just like, hey, at least I am not the guy who has to hang out with Byron Saxton. And we're going to keep not hanging out with Byron Saxton next time on On the Shelf Gaming.